Hey guys, come. Uh, today, right, we are going to recap whatever I did last lesson briefly. Okay, come. Okay, as I said last week, I already told you guys that this lesson is very crucial. Huh? Okay, if you can't remember stuff from last week, never mind, I'll recap. Okay, but more importantly, you can't forget everything. Okay, because after this, we're going to take a look at basically two main calculations in this topic. Okay, so please let's uh. Okay, the intensity will be there for this lesson. Okay, so try to keep up. Okay, if you cannot, then you always ask me afterwards. Okay, now, last lesson, we talked about quite a few things. Okay, so the intro idea is the theories of acids and bases. Okay, so we discussed last lesson, uh, how many acid-based theories are there in total? Okay, there are three, right? Now, out of all these acid-based theories, okay, there's only one particular theory that is basically the entire topic. In which theory is it that we are supposed to focus on? Mm. Not Lewis. Bronsted. Okay, guys, take note. Uh, Bronsted is about the transfer of H plus ions. The idea is H plus ions is uh, tied to the next concept, which is your conjugate acid base pair. Now, guys, this is the main idea in the last lesson. Uh, you must recognize this again. If you can't recognize this, Okay, today you're gonna to struggle. Okay, so very simple, very simple. Okay, what is the relationship between a conjugate acid base pair, like this two guys right? It's a pair. Okay, what? Okay, not about Troy Week, no. The relationship. What is it? Good. Okay, so they differ, the two species differ by only one H plus. Anything else? The okay. acid has the good. To identify who's the acid, the acid has the extra H plus. Now, must remember these two ideas uh, because later on you must know who is the acid and who is the conjugate base. If not, it will you, okay, be very confusing. That's why a lot of people die in this topic if you don't understand that. And so far first. Okay? So that was that. Okay, some examples over here. If I want to tell you guys these two species, can you all tell me are they conjugate acid base pair? Okay, who's the essay in this case? Okay, you must know some of the common examples. Uh, okay, say if we still create the essay, which makes this guy here. Base, no, not just base, you must add the word conjugate. The word conjugate is just to show, right, that he's related to the essay. It's a partner to the essay. The next most common example is this. Can you remember the most common base that we're going to discuss? Uh, no, this is ethylic acid. Okay, but we're talking about ammonia. La. Okay, so for ammonia, right, who is his partner? I told you all that it's a base. So what's the partner? Uh, okay, uh, what do you call the term? Sorry, the red, red color word. Okay, we call it the conjugate acid. And what's the species called? Is it NH2 minus? Let's say as this. NH2 minus? No? Okay, it must be NH4 plus because as I mentioned, the acid must always have the extra H plus. So if you were to tell me this is NH2 minus, uh, wrong. Okay, take note. No such thing exists. Okay, maybe it exists, okay, but not this stand alone. Okay, no, not in this context. These two are the most common examples. Okay, so if you all remember... I don't even know what it is. Okay, oh, okay. <laughs> guys, uh, on... I can't remember which page, okay? Uh, what is it on? On page 14, guys, okay. Let me tell you all, in the previous lesson, I need to highlight a few pages to revise. Okay, I know there's a lot of pages, like 20 pages. Let me, okay, go and mark out page 14. Page 14 is a must to revise if you want to revise your conjugate acid base pair. One four. Okay, I know some of you guys again okay, either forget already or you never watched the lecture recording or whatnot. Okay, but never mind, I guys. Okay, go and revise page 14. So if let's say you never watched the first lesson recording, right? Okay, you can save a bit. I'm helping you guys save time. Huh? All right, okay. Page 14 is number one. Any questions? Yeah, of course, your the next thing that we discussed is strong and weak acids. I'm going to recap that. Okay. But we talked about a few formulas, pH and iodic. Okay, you all should know the formulas. I'm not going to have that. You can refer to your notes. Okay, uh, do you all remember when you take pH and you add iodic, right? What do you get? Okay, you get 14 always and only at room temperature. Good. Okay, so 14 is only at room temperature. I heavily emphasized on this the last lesson. Okay, because guys, what does 14 represent? PKW, very good. Okay, so PKW, just like all the Ks, how many Ks do you all learn in this topic? K, A, K, B, K, 
KW. You learn three constants in this topic. A for acid, B for base, W for water. Very simple. But guys, they are only affected by one thing. This thing. Okay, only yeah, affected by yeah. temperature. Mm -hmm. Guys, please think of all this. Uh, this is a very condensed version of last lesson. So I'm picking out the most important points. As for how to write KA and KB expression, mm -hmm. that one not important, so I'm not going to re uh, recap that. Okay? Now, any questions so far? Any questions must ask, huh? Okay? Oh, good. Next, guys. What's the definition of neutral? Both equal. Okay, what's equal, correct? Neutral is when concentration of H plus and OH minus are equal. Good. Is it pH 7? Is pH 7 neutral? Never are wrong already. Okay, that, that was only correct in secondary school, but in real, real life is wrong. This is the definition of neutral. So guys, if I were to tell you uh, the pH of water at let's say 60 degrees Celsius is um, 6. Am I correct to say that water is acidic? No. No, is water ever acidic? No. If water is always neutral, so guys, if the pH of water is 6, it still means uh, that this is the neutral pH of water. And just a little small little thing here, guys, can you all tell me what is the pKW of at 60 degrees Celsius? Because guys, can you all see why it's 12? Okay. Why, why do you all times 2? Because pOH. Good. Because pH is 6, pOH is also 6, so you just times 2. Can you see that? Okay, good, uh, good. Uh. Okay, you all need to know this anyway. Okay, don't, don't be too impressed by yourself. Uh. Again, you must already know this. You know, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. So you can't remember, go and note down, right? pH plus pOH must be the same, right? Okay, so it gives you 12. All good so far. Yeah, nah. Okay. Of course, when you study that time, please go and flag out pages 18 to 20. Because from page 18 to 20, we discuss calculations. Now, guys, under calculations, we talked about dissociation first. Okay, guys, take note. Huh? Dissociation from page 18 to 20. Go and do all these questions. Because this is the first question type. Today, we are going to be dealing with two more question types. I'll tell you all a bit about it later. But remember, for dissociation, right, we are mainly going to be focusing on weak species. Uh, we don't really care about strong species anymore. Okay, so don't really care. All right, okay, take a look. Huh? For dissociation of any weak acid and base, I just need you all to start understanding that this part onwards will become more math than chemistry. Because if you know the calculation steps, huh, I can tell you that you can do more and then you eventually just second nature, you just do the question. Same goes for today. Today I'll explain to you guys two more items. Huh? Okay, this, this is our agenda. Salt hydrolysis and buffer. You guys have probably seen this in your school notes already. Okay, but uh, some of you are saying just whack the equations. No, uh, you cannot whack equations in this topic. If you whack equations, I am gonna, I'm going to tell you you're going to fail for this topic. Okay, so very serious. Huh? Okay, this is our agenda. Come, any questions so far? If not, we need to move on already. So the yes. Yes, right. Okay, they're all related actually. Uh, uh, if you can do this. Okay, KA times KB will actually give you KW. That was another formula that is in the list. Okay? We're going to be using this today. So, okay, I'll erase some stuff. Uh. Okay, any questions? Any questions? <laughs> Okay, I'm going to assume you all can remember the conjugate acid base pair, the criteria. You'll need this a lot right now and in buffer. Okay, so come follow me on this. Turn over to salt hydrolysis. I think it's page 20, right? 21. Guys, the very first question in the box there says, what is salt hydrolysis? Okay, so remember, guys, let me just come up with a very simple equation first. What's equation? <laughs> Okay, guys, what is salt? Okay, you don't need to be very, very clear of the terms up because the word salt can be quite confusing. Okay, let me give you an equation first CH3CO2H and NaOH. What will you get? Okay, this is uh, acid, right? This is a uh, Okay, good. So in secondary school, you guys have learned acid plus base gives you. Okay, now this is not wrong, of course. Okay, salt and water, 
the word salt has just been expanded in JC. Okay, but for this segment, they loosely use the word salt in this case. Okay, so CH3CO2 minus NA plus and water. Guys, can you all identify first? Uh, the acid is clearly this guy. Who's the conjugate base? CH3CO2. Okay, good. I want to write it down. So uh, this guy is the conjugate base. In other words, the conjugate base can be is also considered the salt. Uh, just different names. We are the same guy. Okay, conjugate base salt, same thing. Okay, sometimes conjugate acids can also be. I'm going to write out this other example. NH3 plus HCl. Guys, NH3 is the what again? Okay. Base, react with acid. What the, what's the partner called? Conjugate acid. Okay, conjugate acid, very good, because in this case, okay, NH4 plus. Now, NH4 plus the conjugate acid, okay, then the Cl minus also, right? The conjugate acid is just NH4 plus, but this is also known as a salt. Just take note, guys. Okay? So all I'm trying to say is this. Uh, the salt is basically the conjugate on the right-hand side of the equation. And so far. Now, then what is salt hydrolysis? Add water. Yeah, you add water. Good. Okay, so can you write down the definition? Uh, salt hydrolysis, in other words, just means, okay, the ions of a salt, Ions referring to either the conjugate base or sometimes conjugate acid. Okay, refer to these two. Uh, form. Okay, of course, you need to write down the examples. Uh, because I'm making reference to all this. They are not in the notes, so write it down. Okay, so ions of a salt react with water. That's all you need to know for this part. Okay, let's add on a little bit more. Uh, okay, they react with water uh, to actually produce H plus or O H minus. The reason why this is very confusing to a lot of people is because they are like, okay, never mind. I'll get to that. You're you're right yeah, on that. Water. Okay, still no water because you don't have to balance it. Water. You realize it's really balanced. Okay, so technically acid base should, should always give you salt and water, right? Yeah. Okay, but here no, it's just a salt. Oh. Just based on balancing. Wait, but then yeah. the second unit is any water still Okay, you want to separate them also? Can it doesn't really? No, but is it just like any force here or? Need to write NA4CL or you separate like that, fine, whatever. Okay. Both are okay. Okay. I was just about to clear something, but never mind. You're, you're, you're right first. This next part is very important. Okay. Okay, I'm going to look back at one of the most basic examples that right, you will ever see. Okay. Okay, uh, I'm sure you all recognize this equation. Okay, uh, HCL, NaOH, you learned this since secondary school, right? Okay, let's go into detail. Uh, salt hydrolysis, how does this work? Okay, when we say salt, uh, this is the subject of today. If you look back at the definition, these salts can produce H plus and OH minus. A bit weird, right? Why is this weird? Because can you all look at this equation? When HCl react with NaOH, you get NaCl. What's the pH of NaCl, which is the salt? What's the pH? Say secondary school, you all learn. Okay, uh, no, no, salt, salt must be. Oh, yeah. No, no, guys, guys, salt must be what? No, what? No, 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 guys, hold on, hold on. Secondary school starts seven, right? Um, salt, uh, oh, my God, guys, okay. PH of a salt is seven. That's what you have been told in secondary school. But now, guys, okay, listen up, listen up. In JC, right, I'm changing the mindset a bit. Uh. Salts don't necessarily have to be neutral. Okay, I repeat, salts don't need to be neutral. Okay, but I'm asking you what you're in secondary school. Uh, okay, here in this case is neutral. Why is it neutral? We'll come to that in a bit. Okay, so can I look at page 21? Uh, it's right there. Okay, I, I know they gave you a box, right? Uh, whatever, like, okay, that one you want to write it inside also can. Okay, so why is this salt neutral? It's because it actually doesn't undergo hydrolysis, so it does not produce H plus or OH minus. That's why it is neutral. As for how that works, huh, let's take a look. Now, uh, HCl is clearly the acid. It's a strong acid, right? Who's his partner? Okay, uh, okay, okay, it's weak, it's weak. All right, all right, it's weak, but who's the partner? Okay, can you tell me what is the partner here? Oh, ACL minus, very good. 
Okay, so we ignore the area class. Okay, CL minus in this case is a big conjugate uh, oh. base. <laughs> okay, guys, let me explain first. Uh, okay, let me just write down the facts first. Because it's a weak conjugate base, do you think something weak can react with water? No, okay, it's just not enough. So what's gonna happen here is this. Okay, it's in the nose also. Cr minus is a weak conjugate base. Okay, so it cannot react with water. Okay, guys, if it doesn't hydrolyze, are you gonna produce H plus or OH minus? No. So if there's no hydrolysis, no H plus nor OH minus. So guys, if there's no H plus or OH minus, that means what's the pH? Assuming at room temperature. Seven. The neutral, right? Okay, so pH is seven. Why okay. Is seven though, like? <laughs> okay, later, right? Okay. Uh, yeah, no, as in it doesn't produce no further OH minus. <laughs> Okay, guys, I know just this example alone uh, doesn't really show much. By the next example, you will understand this a bit clearly. Okay, so I'm going to divide this example. Uh. Okay, so I'm just trying to explain why the stuff you learn in secondary school here is actually technically true. Why is NaCl a neutral salt? It's because the true explanation is it's a weak conjugate base, so it cannot be any water, so it doesn't hydrolyze. Okay, that's like neutral. Can see that first? <laughs> yeah, never mind. If I'm a bit confused, let's compare it with the next example. The next example, I'm going to use turn over to the next page. Okay, you only write this down, I think. Yeah. Okay, page 22. I'm going to repeat the same example from above. CHPCO2H plus OH minus, give me CHPCO2 minus and water. <laughs> you guys, take a look. Huh? This is where things get a little bit messy. Right. Okay, who's the pair? Identify the pair. That means it's okay, it's this guy. Uh. Okay, so who's the salt? Okay, good. As I mentioned, uh, the salt is the conjugate base. And guys, this conjugate base can actually hydrolyze. Why? Weak acid or strong acid? Come, follow me. Weak acid, so this is a strong conjugate base. If this is strong, can it react with water? Yes, yeah, so that's how you undergo a reaction. Come, how does it look like? Okay, draw down first up, it's in a blank. Okay, CH3CO2 minus is a strong conjugate base. Hence, it can hydrolyze in water. What? Okay, if it hydrolyzes in water, we're going to see what it produces, huh? right? Now, we, okay, what we have just done uh, is we know that this guy can undergo a further reaction. Just now, can this guy undergo a further reaction? Yeah. No. So does it produce any acid or base? No, that's why it's neutral. Stops that. But now that we know that this guy can react further, I think you have to write uh, this in O. Uh. You need to write this thing called a salt hydrolysis equation. This will be used in all your calculations and all that. So guys, who's the salt in this case? CH3CO2 okay. Ah, okay. Okay. CH3CO2 minus, what does it react with? No need to tell me. Okay. If not, you cannot formulate your own name. Water. Water, okay. Now, take note, uh, hydrolysis is going to be a reversible arrow. Later, I'll tell you about arrows. When to use full and when to use reversible. Later, I'll clarify all that. Right now, just follow. Later, I'll tell you all. Okay. Guys, who's his partner? Come. This is tricky. CH3CO2H. Okay, good, guys. Because are they ever going to leave each other? They are partners of each other, right? They're never going to leave. Okay, so if you start out with this, okay, you're going to form back CH3CO2H. Why? What's their relationship with one another? Yeah, okay, they differ only by 1H plus, just like before. So in this case, uh, what do you call this? Okay, in red, what, what do you call this? Strong. Okay, okay, let's ignore the strong. He's the base in this case. And then this will be known as the conjugate acid. Either ways, okay, the word conjugate is something special. It's just to signify that he's the partner of this guy. Okay, the word conjugate usually appears on the right hand side of the equation. You can see that. So what's happening here is this: uh, this salt reacts with water to produce what the conjugate acid again and what. Okay, balance the equation OH minus. Go and highlight the OH minus. 
Minus on the left right side cannot be hit plus one, right? But you owe it minus. So you know, okay, guys, this salt hydrology equation is very important. Okay, next, how do you explain this? This salt uh, can hydrolyze to produce OH minus. So can you tell me the pH equals seven, above seven, or below seven? Above, above seven. Okay, good. This is something you predict. Uh. Okay. Because this guy can produce OH minus, the pH is above seven. Okay, I'm gonna write everything out again. Okay, write this down first. Now, okay, follow me up. In secondary school, you all learn that acid plus base gives you salt and water, but the salt is always neutral, right? But now what uh, the salt doesn't need to be neutral. You can see that that's the change that we're gonna make in this topic. Here, why is he neutral? Because he can't undergo further hydrolysis. Why does this guy produce this acidic or basic? Because he can undergo a further reaction with water. Okay, after all, he's not conjugate base, right? So base will produce OH minus half. So the pH of this reaction here is actually more than six. You look at the scenario, yes. So it just all depends on the acid. Most of the time, guys, you'll be dealing with weak acids. You will not be dealing with strong acids like this. So you don't actually have to worry about the first example. Okay, so I say again, uh, the very first example about strong species, you're probably never going to see. I'm just trying to explain the logic behind it. Okay? I'm going to erase the example that doesn't really matter. Okay, I think you all will flip over to the next page. Okay, so this one, uh, we're going to repeat the same process. Okay. Come, take a look at page 23. Okay, they gave you all different scenario here. Okay, so I take NH3 reacting with HCl. Come, identify again. What do you get? Okay, good. So NH3 is a base, a weak or strong base. You can follow up. Weak or strong base. Weak base. So what we form? A strong conjugate acid. Guys, if you see the word strong, okay, this guy react with water. And Okay, this part not that important. It's the important part is the equation. Huh? So if all the NH1 plus, we are going to care about Cl minus. Why don't I care about Cl minus? Why is it useless? You are correct, it's useless. Why? Okay, good. Take Cl is a strong acid. strong acid, so it will form a. Do we care about the weak guy? No. Just like earlier, this guy is weak, huh? he won't react with water, so we don't give a shit about him. We only care about this salt over here. Can he react with water? Can. So take a note, this guy can react, this guy can't. So we only care about the guy that can react with water. So then right now, okay, NH4 plus is a strong conjugate acid. Hence, it will hydro it can hydrolyze in water. Okay, but what does it produce? Come, let's figure this out together. Okay, now that we know that this guy can do something, right? Let's write down the salt hydrolysis equation. Come, let's write this together. You have, to, you have to tell me. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. The salt. Who is the salt I'm concerned with? Okay. I'm not CL minus. I'm not going to write that guy inside. He can't do shit. Okay. NH4 plus is a salt. React with water. Good. Salt and water. Arrow. Which arrow? Uh, reversible or who? Okay. Reversible. Uh, the rules again. Don't worry. I'll tell you all later how to determine. Very easy. Huh? Okay, then what do you form, guys? Who is his partner? NH3. Okay, NH3. Okay, always take note. Huh? In this case, NH4 plus is N. Okay, I know he's a salt, okay, but he's pretty much acting as an acid. And then this guy's part, his partner is called conjugate base. The base has one less H plus, as you can see. Right? Okay, what? How to balance this up? Okay, which is? Again, just like earlier, uh, I need all to highlight the H2O plus. Okay, so here we're not doing any calculations. Uh, I'm just trying to explain to you guys, only the strong salts can undergo hydrolysis. So guys, SA plus base, okay, can you tell me what's the pH of this resulting solution? Good. 
the pH of the resulting solution is below 7 in this case because the salt is not a neutral salt. You have been taught in secondary school that salts are neutral. Wrong. From now on, it is wrong. Salts can actually be acidic or basic as well. Because why? Fundamentally, the word salt could either mean conjugate base or conjugate acid. They are acidic or basic, right? So the word salt uh, don't associate it with the word neutral anymore. Any questions so far? Okay, please clarify if any questions right now. Uh. Okay, so this is your job. Your job is to explain this to your practice. Okay, so come take a look at the next page. Reason why? Yeah, sorry. Uh, why do you like square on the H2O? Another oh, Because this is the reason why the resulting pH is as uh, uh, Because you produce H. Yes. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, so go ahead. Charge. Charge. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. 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 Okay, um, whether do or not, never mind. Okay, we will cover it here. <laughs> <laughs> because you make your ass, I'm the one actually studying the topic. Okay, so come, uh, this is a slightly different scenario. Okay, just look at the title first uh, of page 24. Okay, a salt, a metal cation, right, that's a high charge density, can also undergo hydrolysis. So that's quite separate from whatever we went through just now. So let me just briefly tell you what's happening. Okay, now did it give you the equation? Yes, it did. Okay, so you all notice the first equation when ALCl3 dissolves in water, you'll produce this weird little thing. Okay, unfortunately, right, you just have to accept that there are six water molecules surrounding the H3O. Plus. Okay, just highlight this guy down the right. Okay, this is uh, somewhat of a complex ion. We'll learn this uh, sometime towards the end. Never mind, never mind. Okay, guys, just accept this first. Basically, water can attach itself to aluminium. Okay, you see how this works, huh? All right. If can draw in this diagram as well. This. Okay, how that guy looks like huh, is I have Al3 plus in the middle, and I have six dative bonds. Guys, dative bonds. Six water molecules surrounding it. Which part of water, right? Is bonded to the AL by the DT bond. Oh. Okay, O, oh, Y, O. Okay, good. Oh, God, look back. Okay, so I need you all to kind of show that as well in your diagram. Hey, yeah, yeah. Wait, how do you do it? Wait, how do you do it? Wait, how do you Okay, why can aluminium accept so many lone pairs is because, okay, you can expand the octet, that's it. Okay, but what I'm trying to explain here is this Al3 plus has very high watts, 3 plus. High. high charge density, okay. If you have a very high charge density, uh, let me show you what's happening. It will polarize what? Okay, the words of the, okay, sorry. Or? Oh. There's only water, right? Okay, so that's good. You can only polarize the electron cloud. You don't polarize water. That doesn't make any sense. Okay, uh, let's focus on one water molecule on the right. Okay, it's going to polarize this electron cloud. Hey, guys, what do you think will happen to this bond eventually? Because it's so all the electrons are attracted towards the middle. So what will happen to this bond? Become weaker or stronger? Okay, weaker. Because you see, uh, all the electron density is gravitating towards the middle, right? So that means the electrons here, definitely the bond is going to weaken. Can you see that? Okay, if this bond weakens, eventually what will happen? Break ready and release what? What does this guy come out as? So if H plus meets the solution is acidic. Okay, so that's another form of salt hydrolysis. So guys, I'll write down the full explanation. I need you to draw this diagram first. Okay? Roughly, uh, you should roughly know what the flow of uh, the sequence is. 
Okay, now let's go write it down again. Salt hydrolysis equation. Okay, let's write this together. Huh? Now, I have the salt which has six water molecules. Okay. okay a rather interesting looking salt with a metal cation. Salt must be a bit. Okay, so, salt hydrolysis. So, water. salt react with water. Okay, good. So, when you react with water, what arrow again? Hydrolysis is always reversible. Okay, can you just come? Let's formulate this uh, species. Uh. How many water molecules do I have left? Okay, five, right? Because the six one kind of like messed up, right? Okay, now AL surrounded by five water molecules. The last guy became what? Sorry. OH minus, good. We just write OH first. Let me give you the charge later, guys. What's the overall charge of this? Give you two plus. AL three plus minus one, so two plus. Uh, how do you balance this equation out? Okay, remember the H plus came out, right? Okay, so it has to be H3O plus to balance it. And because of the H3O plus, the resulting solution is acidic or basic? Okay, so again, just box it up again, like what we did just now. Okay, formulate this equation. Okay, there's no need to memorize. You can come up with it yourself. Why? You bear in mind the word salt hydrolysis. So you take salt, we have water, then you can get this. So if you take aluminum chloride and you put it in water, it will be acidic. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, now let's write down the explanation. Uh, Al3 plus had what again? High charge density. You can start off with that. Al3 plus has high charge density. So very high what? It's like P. Very okay, good. Yeah. High polarizing power. That's very good at polarizing, now, right? Okay. Uh, guys, okay. who does it polarize? Refer to your diagram. Who does it polarize? H2O. Is it just H2O? You polarize water. Does that make sense? Okay. Electron cloud of water. Can I specify up? Okay, Al3 plus polarizes. The electron cloud. What later I'll ask you about highlight like words. Okay. And when you polarize so much, right? What will you do to the bond? Weaken. Okay, you weaken the bond. Okay, so you specify weakening the OH bond. Weaken, weaken what? So what? So stop there. What happens? Eventually it has to break. Okay, good. So okay, so the OH bond breaks, which releases what? Okay, releasing H plus. You only release energy when you form bonds, <laughs> remember? Okay, you break bond, you require energy. That's it, we all. Okay, guys, when you release H, plus, okay, that's why the pH of this one uh, is actually 3 acidic. You must memorize this pH. This exact explanation can be found in your periodicity chapter also, but we just go through here because it's relevant. Okay, so I'm technically also studying that topic with you guys right now. Uh. Okay. Wait, I don't know, right? You have <laughs> We haven't done it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have no time to do it. We are still probably doing it. Yeah, but that topic, as I mentioned to you guys, uh, it's a self study topic. It's fine. Yeah, yeah. Top 10 topic. It's really just top 10. Well, it's not about it. It's I guess. Yeah, if you study it, right, you legit wrote memorize, right? You can just plant it in the exam and you get it. Yeah, that's why I say it's not a very important topic. Hey guys, anyways, anyways, you see these three scenarios on the board? These are three different salt hydrolysis scenarios. In other words, if you can study this portion, this this board basically, you can get salt hydrolysis. Okay, so this is the board. Okay, which are which are? Oh no, these two, these two are interchangeable. Uh, these are just acidic, this is just basic. The very first, the very first scenario where both are strong, uh, that one don't have, that's like erase the Yeah, uh, okay, again, okay. cancel that. Any questions? <laughs> 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 okay, come, come, come. Let's move on. Let's move on. Okay, can you all look at page 25? Very, very fast exercise. Now. Let's not spend too much time on this. Okay, to help you guys out a little bit, I need you to write two things down. Huh? Can we erase this or Okay, there are two salts, as you all can see in page 25. Okay. 
Okay, you all see KBR. Now to help you guys out, I need y'all to write down how this guy came about. Okay, it's a reaction between HBR and KOH. Page 25, brother. Okay, next, uh, the second one. Okay, I'm gonna study you guys where the salt originated from. So that's zero. Okay. Sorry? Okay, wait, wait, yes. Yeah, yeah no, that's the answer, bro. <laughs> it's not, it's not the answer, okay? Come. Yeah, we have to justify it. Okay, uh, we have to justify uh, okay, whether the solution is neutral as in or alkali. So <laughs> okay, so this is just to help you guys. Okay, but take note, uh, Okay, when we have these two species reacting together, what do we have? Like, what, what are these two species? KOH is a uh, what? Strong base. Okay, sorry. Strong base. Okay, yes. Okay, how about the first one? HBR. Yeah, I mean, we're back. We're No, 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 no. Roughly, you should know that like, KOH is the secondary school is strong base. Okay. Uh, actually, HBR is a strong acid. Yeah, this one, if you're not sure, never mind. Okay, this one, um, fine. Okay, HCR is a strong lobby acid. Strong. HBR, eh? Why is it strong? Eh? <laughs> okay, HCR is strong because, guys, how do you get H plus and CL minus? What must you do to HCL? You must break the bond, right, guys? You are breaking HCL bond. And HBR, right, guys? It's weaker. If it's weaker, will you produce more or less H plus? Yeah. Oh, more. Weaker is easier to break money if you produce more. Hey, 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 yeah, I'll explain to you this after lesson. I'll give you come back to this. Yeah. Hey, come, come, stay on track, stay on track. Anything else, uh, later that I explain to you all. Yeah. Hey, guys, there are two things. Hey, come, come, come back. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Later, later. Oh, wait. Small little thing. Come, come back to this. We are trying to figure out this salt. Huh? Can this salt hydrolyze? Why? Uh, okay, okay, okay. So, where does BR minus come from? Let's discuss this one. Okay, BR minus came from HBR. HBR is a strong acid, so BR minus must be Okay, good. Write that down. Can it hydrolyze in water? No. Don't So, yeah. So, what's the, what's the pH? What's the pH? Seven. Seven. Okay. Let's check the other ion then. K plus. Okay, no, uh. oh, no. No. If you tell me this is a conjugate acid, you're wrong. Bro. Why? Why, guys? What's the relationship yeah, between extra plus? KOH and K plus, are they extra H plus? No. So how? <laughs> but guys, remember the third scenario we went through just now? If the metal cation can only hydrolyze if it has High charge density. Does that look like high charge density to you guys? No. Okay, so because he has low charge density, also cannot. No hydrolysis. No hydrolysis. Because there are two ions, we just discussed both ions that have it. But then, like previously, you didn't split up the ions. Because there's only one ion, right? Yeah, you can just show you any form. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, Br minus is a weak conjugate of this, cannot hydrolyze in water. Overall, what's the pH? Seven. Seven. This is really unusual. 
So again, you don't really, you won't really see strong acid, strong base reactions. Okay, we're just gonna do the same thing for the next one. Okay. I'm right off first, right off first. Guys, we still have buffer to go through. Uh, we still have calculations to do, so come, we need to be on track. Okay. Yeah. Okay, any small little questions here and there? I'll get later. I can help you answer. Not, not, not right now. Oh, okay. Any questions? Why is there like a gap? Have fun. Hold on. Hold on. This is a tractor. I just like this. Okay, come. Let's take a look at the next one. Okay, uh, I know you guys are don't really know what A means are yet. Okay, but let me just tell you all first. This is a weak base. Okay, so let's work this out together. KCL is a what? Okay, strong acid. Strong acid. Okay, let's identify everything. This is the what? Strong acid. Strong a a C C L minus is the conjugate uh, base. Okay, so look at the salt now, which is on the right side. Who do we care about actually? Okay, just a strong person. A Y C L minus cannot again. Okay, we conjugate base cannot hydrolyze in water. We don't care about that. Most of our questions are the salt can hydrolyze us. Okay, so we know that this guy can hydrolyze because it's a strong conjugate acid. Okay, so go ahead and perhaps try this down first. Okay, CH3 NH3 plus is a strong conjugate acid. Okay, hence it can hydrolyze in water. Okay, next. Guys, if you can hydrolyze, what must you write? So I know okay, then come up with the equation. Okay, so the salt hydrolysis equation is what? This is the most important part. Let's start this. Okay, go and try. Okay, this one go and try. Huh? Oh, oh my god. Yeah, you have to help out there. Thank you. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Let me just conclude. So, what's the key of this resulting so Oh, wait, yeah. Okay, good. Huh? Okay, I. Okay. Okay, you already need to know how to craft this equation. Huh? Wrong way, really, data I cannot proceed. Okay, so, uh, okay, roughly all got it already. Huh? Okay, take the salt, CA3, NH3 plus. Okay, what? Okay, you guys, what do you mean? Water. Arrow is? CA3, NH2, N. So, guys, when this reaction happened, huh? The resulting solution is what? Okay, yeah, yeah, good. So we're right now. The resulting solution here is acidic. pH less than seven. So it's asking about how the state. Okay, all these inputs except for water, water. Okay, don't even write state symbols if they never ask. Okay, don't go into that. Did it? Yeah, fuck you. This one, can we? Yeah, don't even write state symbols here. If it did, do we have to say that? Oh, because. More H plus. Oh. Okay. There's another way you can do it also. There's more H plus than O H minus, so it's still pH. That's but, but you can just do it. Or you can tell me you produce H plus. You can just yes. Okay. Yes, your two notes will probably tell you to compare the amount of H plus with the O H minus. Okay. But uh, I've always like always gotten away with just telling me that H plus is produced. <laughs> like, <can't> <laughs> <laughs> that's why I say we yeah I see a lot of features right. Okay, come on, let's move on. Any questions? Come back, come again. Okay, need to really focus on little buffer. I really need to go a little bit faster. Any questions? Okay, no, let's look at okay. 26 is the calculation. I will show you guys. Go to page 27. Okay, and I can tell you guys that right now, salt hydrolysis calculations are not too important. 
if when we look at titration curves uh, in the next lesson, then the salt hydrolysis gets uh, slightly more applicable. Okay. The steps for salt hydrolysis, as I mentioned in the last lesson, for whatever calculation topic, the first step is to always write a what. Okay. <laughs> yes, okay, equation. But in this case, it's salt hydrolysis. Uh. Okay, good. Good that you all remember. Uh. Okay. Always give me an equation first. Last lesson, what was the equation? Last lesson, we learned dissociation, right? Okay, so dissociation equation. Okay. Okay, the second step, third step, okay, I'll show you all this uh, in a bit, but these are relevant. This equation that we learned at the start is relevant. Okay, then we can do a ice table. Okay, yeah, ice table, ice table. Okay, come. Uh, okay, I'll come at the equation for question one. Focus up. So we have to go right from the start, finding out the weight. Yeah. How does it get? Okay, here they told you the salt already. Then okay, straight away. Okay, assume that you can. Okay. So we assume that you can iodize water. Uh, I just do this very quickly if you guys want. Guys, can I tell me the full formula of this salt? CH3, CH2, CH3, 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 this is the salt, and it's made up of two ions, right? And Na plus undergo hydrolysis. Oh. So, okay, we don't have to justify that. Here's just a calculation portion. Okay, so don't care about this guy. And C3CO2 minus hydrolyze. Yes. yes, don't need to justify. Okay, that's just for your own understanding. We're going to go straight into the salt hydrolysis equation. Right now. Okay, shouldn't be an issue. Huh? Yeah, I need you all to think about the relevance of the second step. Why the hell do we have this second step? Right? Okay, I need to see salt reacting with water, reversible arrow, form back its partner, and <laughs> OH minus. You want to Hey, come here. Look. Hey guys, any issues with this equation? Okay, you can write down your IC table there. Okay, but what's important here? Okay, actually, this is very similar to what we did last lesson. Hey guys, can you tell me look at the question and look at the data they've given you guys? Okay, they tell us the concentration of the salt. They did, right? Okay, so for the salt's concentration is 0 0.1. Do we care about water? No. No, okay, just cancel out water. Initially, is there any hydrolysis? Is there any products? No. No. Guys, do we know to what extent the salt undergoes hydrolysis? No. Okay, because it's a reversible error, right? We don't know how much it hydrolyzes. So what do we do for our change? X. Okay, just use X. Right, okay. okay. So minus X, right side is? Plus X, plus X. Okay, so you follow the mole ratio for change. Okay, all this seems like last week, right? Okay, last week is just the acid or the base dissociating. Now it's the salt that's dissociating or hydrolyzing in the correct term. Okay. Now you notice our step two and three obviously I get swap it. It doesn't matter. But can you all look up? Let me ask you a question. Do we use Ka or Kb for this question? This scenario. Mm -hmm. Think about it. I'll think about it first. Okay, do we use Ka or Kb? Okay, the equation. Okay, why do you say Kb? Come. Okay, good. A few ways to discuss this, guys. OH minus obviously is A or B. Okay, A, A, listen up. Okay, do we use K or KB? KB, why? Because OH minus is produced, only base can produce OH minus, right? And furthermore, like fundamentally, this is the base at the end of the day, one. So you must use KB. But did the question give me KB? Okay, give me K. How, how do I get KB then? It's like this. 
Okay, good. Okay, so I think you all to first way calculate what KV is by taking the equation, manipulate it yourself. And then afterwards, guys, how do I solve for the value of x? Where do I put these values into? My equilibrium values I put it into. Okay, the x squared, whatever, that one is your KV, right? Okay, KV expression. So go and find that. Okay, yes, this is the data booklet. But guys, after you find the value of KB, okay, how do you sub the values of X inside? How do you sub the values? Okay, you can do that, but it's just products over reactants, right? So the products here are not not 2 X, X times X, X squared. Oh. Over, uh, over what? Okay, 0 0.1 minus X. Okay, guys, there's something to do to this expression, right? Can you remember? Oh yeah. What do we have to do with it? This What's the problem with this? Okay, this is quadratic. We do not want quadratic. So the bottom, the bottom change to okay. Why can we do this? Okay, x is very small, right? Because it dissociates to a very small extent. Ignore it. Okay, so that's the best way to circumvent our quadratic equation, right? They equate this to a KV to solve for x. Huh? Okay, come. It's up to you guys to get how KV. Come on, chop, chop, chop. Okay, good. Less than, like very, very less than. Oh, oh. Yeah. Okay, it is so small that's how you do arrows. One the power of the one 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 the the one the one the one Mm -hmm. Wait, sir. Yeah. What is K again? It's product over reactance. Okay, all the K, right? It's always product over reactance. But we ignore water. Wait, what is K? K is just an equilibrium okay. constant. Oh. Okay. So in this case, uh, the K, K, B, the K, this K, right? Base. It's always what the products. Uh, CH3, CO2, H. Yeah, yeah. What else? Uh, oh, hey, put it on. Over okay. CH3 CO2 minus, right? Okay, we learned how to write this expression last time, so the time not going to here. Okay, you're just summing the product super reactors inside. Water's not included because water is a solid okay. reactor. Wait, reactor? Product over the reactor for everything. Every K, what do you mean? Every K of syllabus is with product over reactor. Yeah, you have less breaks today, uh, okay, because really this is very intense. Okay, please bear with me, right? Uh, you say it's to work on your recording. At least it's what you think for next time. I cannot work. Yeah, I did tell you already, must watch recording for this. Yes, I very good. After, after, I see that. I don't know. 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 I do I do Faster. Right, so your KB is 5.56 5, times 10 to the power minus 10. Okay. You substitute all this into that value. Your value of x will be 7.45 10 to the power minus 6. This is for you to share. Put your bed in there. Go 
Hey guys, what does the value of X here represent? Concentration of what? Concentration of what? Okay, so X is OH minus. Why are we interested in OH minus? Because eventually they ask us to find pH, right? And what's the next few steps over here? How do I find OH minus? How do I link all the way to pH? Uh, that formula. Okay, so find what first? OH minus can convert to POH, right? Okay, so POH in this case, let's go and negative log that value. So I said, how do I convert to pH? I'm only interested in pH. What should we do here? That's how to find pH from pOH. What's the relationship? pH plus pOH give you what? Okay, so here, okay, yeah, calculations will here be room temperature. So what do I do? Pop in minus pOH. Your answer should be 8.87. Please try the same thing for the next question. Okay, I expect everyone to get the next question correct. Okay. What? Say room temperature. Okay. <laughs> Wow, well, that's 
Yeah. 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 This is the part where you need to know what is the part of it. So you let me get to do more. You realize the part of any four parts is three. 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 Right, the left side of plus, the right side of the third plus. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 KP is not zero point five. Zero point five is KP. Yeah, <laughs> Okay, on the equation I see table on the board, uh, you just proceed the calculations, right? Take a very short break after this question. Uh. Yeah, <laughs> Yep. You can get it back then. Sorry? I never ordered that before. So what it is. Oh, I thought I want it. I want it. Yeah. Yeah. I thought you thought it was a thing. You had it. Hmm? It's not. Is he not? Yeah. He will he be still here. Yeah, but he will yeah. still be here. And then you want to ask. Yeah. 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 
Hey guys, this question you need to use KA, but they gave you KB, so just go and change it. Okay, how do you know it's KA? Okay, they they are produce H plus, so that's when you know this is an acid you're dealing with. Okay, so 5.617 times 10 to the power minus 10. Okay, wait, substitute, sorry. You can get the function after this one. Oh, my default negative log that. No, okay, so guys, take a look, take a look up. The k right, you should assume it already to be this x squared over 0.45. Equate this to your k value. Okay, it answers 4.8. Okay, what do you get? Guys, the x in this case represents what? Okay, what does the x represent? Okay, h plus. Okay, x represents h plus, which is. 1.589 whatever. Yeah. Negative log this value. We have 4.8. Oh, oh, you forgot to square root, right? Oh, 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 yeah. oh yeah. I forgot to square root. Yeah. 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 Wait, wait, wait. Wait, so any time you Yeah. I can do no, no, I I got I got the data here. That's not good. Hmm. Four five. Wow. I don't know. I can't even see what three. I can't but those are okay now, right? Just take a break first. Yeah, okay. Those who get the answer, just take a break. Okay, we'll come back by like 8.20. We we'll take a five minute break. Yeah. Okay. Okay, 35 more minutes only. We need to use this cover buffer. Okay, we can do we can still cover a bit of buffer. Uh we can't cover the whole of buffer. Okay, we can't cover the whole of buffer. Okay, it's like a left of it. Okay, but I don't need the next question to cover anyway. Okay, so guys, I heard you guys are struggling with this buffer segment. Uh. So there are a few things we need to lay down first. Okay, so number one, what is the buffer? It's really, it's not the first blank in the notes. Uh. Okay, let's write it down. Okay, guys, what's a buffer? Do you, know I mean? you have any idea? Uh, okay, go write down this definition first. It is a solution that resists pH change. Guys, you all know the meaning of buffer in English, or not? right? Again, okay. to buffer against something is to protect against something, to resist against something. So the word resist appears here. It resists pH change upon adding either H plus or OH minus. Let me give you guys an example. Okay, if I was to take plain water and I add some lemon inside, how would the water now taste? Okay, a bit acidic and sourish, right? All right? Lemon wine. Okay. Make sense? Now, guys, if I will now take a buffer and now I put lemon inside, how will the buffer taste like? It will still taste neutral. Okay, it will not taste acidic. Why? Okay, let's bear it in mind first. How does a buffer operate? You need to kind of ask yourself this question later. It will be reviewed. Okay? So, yeah, okay, you can wonder. You can wonder all, all you want. Okay, later then we will explain. How does a buffer resist the change in pH? Okay, later we will understand this. Okay, as of right now, don't use the word prevent. Okay, this is a definition they will ask in exam. Okay, it must be resist pH change upon adding. Oh, wait, I forgot something. Huh? Okay, upon adding a small amount of H plus and OH minus. Okay, the word small amount is very important because there's no such thing as a solution where you can spam H plus and it will never change its pH. You have to understand the word is resist. The word resist means it will change a little bit. Okay, it doesn't stay constant. Eventually, when you add so much, uh, there will be a point at which the pH will just change normally. So the buffer is just a very small amount of H plus OH minus that you can resist. Other than that, if you add too much, it's just going to function like a normal solution. And so far? Okay. 
Next, look at the bottom of page 29. Huh? How do we make a buffer? Okay. Now the preparation of a buffer, just need to know this first. Huh? A buffer must consist of a conjugate acid base pair. Okay, take note. A buffer consists of a conjugate acid base pair. How many species are there in the buffer? Hmm. Two lah, right? Okay, take note. Huh? There are two yeah. species inside a buffer. They must be related by the conjugate theory. You should already know what they mean, uh, what conjugate acid base pair and pills. So can you look at these uh, three options over here? Can you tell me which is the answer? They can form a buffer solution or answers. There could be multiple answers. A. A and B. Okay, guys, can you tell me what are the species in here? Okay, I don't really care about sodium, right? Can you go and rewrite this without the sodium? So what is it? KCO3 and CO3. KCO3 what? What's the charge? Minus N, CO3 2 minus. Do they differ by a H plus? Yes, okay, so A is definitely, you can form a buffer. How about B? Okay, why? Because oh, they by. Okay, they are completely different, right? Out. That's great. How about C? Okay. Okay, so HNO3 and? Okay, do they, do they differ by H plus? Okay, yes. But I forgot to mention one criteria because this one still cannot act as a buffer. Now, other than the fact that you need a conjugate acid base pair, you also must have weak species. So, two criteria. Okay, as I mentioned, uh, in this topic, it's mostly about weak species. You don't really look at strong items. Okay, channel 3 is a what? Strong acid. Okay, so any strong acid is right. Okay, cannot already. You cannot have anything strong inside a buffer. It can only contain weak species. Take note of the two criteria to make a buffer. Any questions so far? So, yes. Uh, the second one, right? Yeah. There's an uh, extra H plus on the right hand side. Right? Correct. But then why is it not uh, conjugate? Okay. Oh, no, no. Okay. So this is the extra acid, right? Uh, I'm going to be plus from B. Or B. Yeah. Right? Where is B? The... No, it can only be different by one H plus. But this is not even just one H plus. It's like the oh, everything is different. Oh, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, now let's quickly move on to page 30. Okay, guys, how do you prepare a buffer then? You just need to add the two species into the same mixture, correct? Now, the first two methods on page 30 are like straightforward, right? Okay, I'm, I'm mainly going to talk about the third point. Okay, but so you can take an acid and you mix its conjugate base, okay, assuming they're all weak, by the way. You can take a base and mix it with its conjugate acid. Now, guys, I'm going to mention the Examples, please try the examples now. Okay, so the acid we are also familiar with is CH3CO2H conjugate base to have remove a H plus only. Okay, also we have NH3 and NH4 plus. Okay, all I'm trying to say is this, all right? We just need to mix them together directly. Okay, this is the easiest way to prepare a buffer, just mix two species together. However, a lot of the times you don't really have access to two species at once. So that's why the third well, the third method right, is probably the most realistic because sometimes we have to generate the other species on the spot. So I repeat, uh, sometimes you don't have access to both. You must react to form the other species like, in the reaction itself. What does that mean? Okay, guys, let's take a look. Uh, okay, If I only have access to CH3CO2 okay. I want to form a buffer with only this species. I also need who to form the buffer. Okay, good. But I don't have this guy at my disposal currently, right? How do you generate this guy? Okay, good. Guys, you take note. I only have acid. So I add a base to form the conjugate base, which is CH3CO2 minus. The base in this case, I'm just going to write OH minus, huh? Okay, so this whatever the nodes have written, okay, water to balance things out. Wait, so to get a conjugate base, you should add a... Yeah, to generate it. You can generate it on the spot. Okay, guys. The question is, how much base do I need to add? This is when I need you guys to copy down this equation and then copy down two tables of values. Because I need you all to... Okay, um, I'm going to write one first. You can write in pencil and then delete it afterwards. Okay, then later, right? Yeah, I'll write the correct one and then you write it in pencil. Okay, so what am I trying to do here? Guys, imagine, uh, 
I have one mole of CH3CO2H. Okay, should I add more than one mole of OH minus or less than one mole? Okay, yeah. you don't know, sure, never mind. Come, let's just try 1.5 moles of OH minus. What's going to happen? It initially don't have this. They don't care about water. How much change? Okay, good. Y minus 1. 1 and 1.5, 1 is the limiting, right? Okay, so limiting ratio minus 1, minus 1, right-hand side, plus 1. Okay, finish up the values. So guys, after this reaction, do I get a buffer? Look at the final. Do I have a buffer? Okay, I have CH3, CO2 minus, and OH minus. How on earth is that a conjugate as it is pair, right? So instead of adding more than one, I should add. Okay, because why? If I add, let's say, 0 0.6 of OH minus, then I must minus how much? Okay, limiting ratio minus 0 0.6 plus 0 0.6 minus 0 0.6. Okay, write this table down. Huh? So I have this remaining. Now, guys, take a look. Do I have a buffer after this reaction? Yes. So what am I trying to get at? In other words, your strong species must be limiting. Your weak acid must be in excess. So let's write this main idea down. Huh? The strong species, if you decide to add it, is limiting. Why is the strong limiting? Okay, how do you remember this? How does this make sense? Guys, can you have any strong species in your buffer? As I mentioned, no strong species. So if you don't want any strong species inside, should you be limiting or excess? Limiting. Because limiting means uh, you end up zero. Can you all see that? So I need you to understand the logic and not just memorizing whatever I tell you. Strong must be limiting because you cannot have any of it left inside the buffer. You will ruin the whole thing. Okay, so because no strong species in buffer. Write this whole thing down. Very important. Okay. Okay. Got it. Okay. Don't just memorize strong is limiting. No. Okay. That one you will never don't, don't memorize. Why memorize when you can understand? Right? So as you can see, uh, guys, there are three methods. This method, you can highlight the title, is it's called okay, it's fancy la, huh? Okay, it's not partial neutralization. Because are you neutralizing the whole one more? No, la, right? You're only adding a bit. So that's why it's not partial neutralization. How do you know which one is Oh no, it's just OH minus. OH minus can be NaOH, right? NaOH is strong, right? Yeah. I just remove NA because it's not. It's a spectator item. Can be KOH also strong. Okay, so OH minus just assumes it's strong. Okay, can? So CL is strong. Yeah. So there's no CL minus. CL minus, you must KCL. Yeah, like KCL. Okay, this is ridiculous. Yeah, it's H plus. Okay, not CL. Any questions so far? Hey guys, guys, come, come. Any questions here? If you understand this, uh, can you all look at page 31? Okay, yeah. page 31. Go and look at all the amounts. Okay, they gave you the volume, they gave you the concentration. Just change all that to amounts first. That's very easy. And go and tell me uh, which one does not give you a buffer solution. Okay, go and try. Okay, or we discuss but uh, we discuss option A first. We discuss option A. <laughs> Guys, uh let's uh, simplify oh. this up. Huh? Okay, look at option A. How much okay HCL is okay? I'll just do this very quickly if you guys want. I have 0 0.0 0.00. 0 .00. Yeah. Guys, can the first option give me a buffer? Your job is to identify the strong and the weak because we are looking at this partial neutralization idea. Okay. Now, if you add HCl and NH3, are they a buffer immediately? No. Okay, they are not even they are not even a conjugate acid base pair, right? Right. So they will react with one another because HCl is a what acid? Okay, it's a strong acid. NH3 is a they good. Okay. Remember, your strong must be what? Excess or limiting? 
Okay, so that's why you don't have to do so much now because it's an MCQ. The strongest limiting, the weak base is an excess. Is this a buffer? Yeah. Yes. Can see that? I already explained why strong must be limiting up. You can't have it at the end of the day. Yeah. So A is correct. Yeah. Is it a conjugate? Like, is it a conjugate? No, okay. Go on. Go on. Go on. Do you all know this? Uh, this is not a conjugate acid. It's pair. That's why they proceed in a reaction because they're acid and base mark. So what actually happens is this. The acid and base will react to form NH4+. plus. If your weak base is in excess, your strong acid is limiting, you're going to produce NH4+, plus and have leftover NH3 as proven with this table over here. You limit the strong base, you have your conjugate base, and your acid pair. That's why you get a buffer eventually. That's why I give you all those numbers over there. You can see that? If you want, you can put in the numbers here as well. It's still going to turn out the same. Okay, you're going to have NH4 plus and NH3 after the reaction is complete. You don't have to do all this because you just need to identify as long as the strong is limiting, right? You are settled. Any questions? Okay, any questions please ask now? Okay, if not, go ahead with the other options. Cover everything the most and it'll be easier. Okay. Yes. Yeah, they are not very really fair, but they will react with each other. They will react with each other to form the conjugation. Because you only got the little bit kind of thing. Yeah, no, that's okay, it. Hey guys, soften a bit up. Okay, so you see, right? One and two. Yeah, yeah the EC methods. If I have the conjugate pair, we might have together. They will swim around the circle. But right now, I only have these two and my hands. Uh, can they react? With, can, are they a conjugate pair? No. Okay, but they will react, right? Oh, Once they react really, yeah. it does give me the other pair that I want. How do you manipulate the values? Such that you will end up with both the conjugate acid base pair at the end of the day. The only way to do oh, that yeah. is to make sure that your strong base is limited. By limiting this, uh, you will end up with NH3 and NH4 plus at the end of the day. See that? Let me put in more values again. Uh. Okay, I will purposely put 0 0.05 NH3, 0 0.0225 or Okay, I'm putting this value right. What's the change? Okay. Or okay, minus a smaller value, right? Okay. And okay. this other like plus. Uh, so I add up with this. So no more strong as okay. because I can't have that. Okay. I still have a left over and it So can you see up? Uh, they don't immediately do that about. But they do undergo a reaction to eventually if you add a buffer. Can see that? Yeah. So it's an indirect yeah. method. The first two methods were direct. I can get them without any reaction. I just pull them together. But sometimes in real life, if you don't have the other guy, how do you create the other guy on the spot? By this indirect method. Okay. Uh, Induce a reaction. <laughs> Hey guys, come. Uh, let's go over the options. Huh? Okay, can we take a option B? Come on, take a look at the board. Okay, take a look at the board. Alright, you look at the two species, don't look at the numbers yet. These two species, do they form a buffer immediately? Oh. Okay, so, but it can it react? Yes. Yes, it, it can. can okay, this is a, a strong base. This is the 
Okay, it's basically a weak acid in, in, in comparison, right? It's just an acid. How is an acid? Okay, I know it's a conjugate acid of ammonia, but ammonia is not even this factor. Anyway. It's an acid first. Wait, ammonia is a strong base, right? Yeah, it's a weak, it's a weak base. Then, why is it a weak? It's a yeah. for plants. Guys, yeah, it's an acid. Wait, I don't think it is. Yeah, this one also doesn't make me strong when we get SCV. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Let's remove all the strong and weak first. Okay, let's just write base and acid first. Okay, we don't get confused by that. Okay, I know you're right, man. We should look at this one. It doesn't matter. Okay, we don't get confused by that. Okay, I know you're right, man. We should look at this one. It doesn't matter in this context. In, in fact, if the strong conjugate base weak conjugate acid, okay, all that right, doesn't matter. You just need to look at this first. Will they react first? Acid base. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes, so acid base will react. Okay, now you don't have this is the direct method. Unfortunately, we don't we do not have the direct method right now. Right? We need to create my partner on the spot. Who's that partner that I'm trying to create? Uh NH3. NH3. NH4 plus will react with NOH or OH minus to give me NH3 and H2. water. Okay, now who must be limiting who must be in excess? OH minus. Okay. In order to have these two guys at the end of the reaction, this guy must be limiting so that he's left with zero. If this is limiting, the this guy must be in excess. excess. Do the values here reflect that? Yes, so P is correct also. No, but his but question then, is like, isn't that like a strong conjugate acid? A strong okay. from a weak base. As I mentioned, uh, let's not care about the strong and weak thing over here. It doesn't matter. Uh -huh. So when you, if only if it this thing the partial whatever yep. thing only happens for when it's weak. Right? Yeah. So uh, no, no, no. Wait, this partial neutralization is between the acid and the base. Doesn't yeah. matter strong. Uh, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Or a weak. Yeah, yeah. Right? Or a weak base. So that's the purpose. I think you guys are also confusing me. I'm also getting confused. That's okay, thank you. Okay. As of right now, as of right now, guys, Papa, we separate it from whatever we learned earlier. The, the idea of strong and opposite is weak, right? Let's not care about that over here first. Okay? Let's remove the idea of strong and weak. So let's go over the other example. Uh. Y'all will see what, what's happening. Okay? Okay, okay. okay yes. Strong must be limited. Then the weak must be limited. Yes. Okay, but then how we no, okay. The idea of strong and weak, uh, okay. I'll, I'll get back to that. I'll get I'll, I'll talk about that later again. Okay. I know you guys are kind of hanging on to the idea. And that's when I realized I think the idea right is a bit like flawed already. Okay, take a look. Okay, so we have 0 0.005 HCl and 0 0.0025 CH3CO2 minus. Okay, again, I did directly they come up. Let's talk about talk about all that later. Hey guys, you look at this often C. Are they a conjugate acid base pair directly? No, no. right off the bat. No. Okay, but can they react? Yes. Don't care about strong and weak, don't care about strong and weak. This is an acid and this is a base. Right? Okay, they will react. But guys, we know HCl is a strong acid in this case, correct? Yeah. Okay. Oh, in this case, in okay. Right. <laughs> Hold up for a I know you guys are a bit confused. I know you guys are a bit confused with this. Okay, but for now, right, you all need to understand that NH4 plus CH3CO2 minus and all that, right, is still considerably weaker than something as strong as HCl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, get it with that? Yeah. Okay, I'll attempt again. Wait, wait. Yes, I don't care what I'm trying to say. Basically, so much. I think I'm trying to get a bit slower. Right. Okay, okay. Let me try to find you guys one final time. Okay. Clarify this one by the time. I get what you're trying to say. Okay. In the very, 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 these guys are objectively considered strong acids and strong bases. This one okay, is only in relation with each other. But objectively speaking, uh, these guys are just weak to stop. Oh. Uh, compared to this, they are weak. They are weak in general. Okay. 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 Okay.
strong point of contention. Mm -hmm. All right. Again, I know you guys are considering that. Then you all think of strong and weak. Okay. Mm -hmm. I will perhaps right start to not talk about that strong and weak idea. Okay. I think I'll slowly start to phase that up. Okay. But anyways, yeah. Okay. Let's just learn from this. Okay. Hey, and you can just know from now on. Uh, they are just strong. These guys are still considered weak compared to them. Okay. Now, take a look. Okay, so HCL is a strong acid. Huh? This guy is considered the, the weak. Okay, okay. With that said, who must be limiting? Okay, let me think. This guy must be excess. This is correct. Oh. So C is out. And? Okay. Do the same thing for D. Huh? Do the same thing for D. Okay, I understand. Last one. She was going to be so confused with you. I don't know what you want to say. Like, what you want to say? Okay, come. Yeah. Last one, Carol. Huh? Sorry? Okay, what's this? Anyway, let us see. In the whole case, Comparatively, this guy is a weak acid, right? So, this guy must be limiting. Yes. Okay, now we see now. That now makes more sense. Okay, I can clarify. That's my bad, right? It is strong compared to this shit, this food over here. See if he's able Strong compared to this guy. Okay, guys, you have to understand strength is all relative, actually. Right? There's no objectively strong item. If ACL is stronger, there's going to be stuff stronger than it. Then ACL is considered weak. Yeah, right? so, yeah. H2 is so called. Right? So, okay, many, many things. So we just put an A only Yes. Okay. Yes, correct. Yes. Right. Okay. If you all need, you're still be confused later, you clarify this. Okay, but we need to move on first. Okay, but thanks for bringing it up to me. Okay, the following lessons and one not with my other masters. I will clarify anything to give you. Okay, okay, so thanks. Okay, come, 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 guys, move on up. Because again, I'm really going through, uh, I'm, not, uh, I'm not even going through fast right here. Okay, they just need to keep. Okay. Going, give me a lot of shit to cover the three lessons. Okay. okay, uh page 32. Okay, 32 is just all those questions, right? To explain how a buffer really works. Guys, a buffer, right, somehow can resist pH change. But what does it actually do to the H plus and OH minus that you add inside? Okay. So come up. Oh, sorry. Sorry, okay. What is in a buffer? A buffer contains a conjugate acid base pair, right? Two species. So let me just take this out first. And this. Okay, next. Guys, look at the definition of a buffer. Huh? What do I throw inside the buffer? Okay, I throw in, let's just say, huh? look at this question over here. This question, if I add H plus, what do you think happens to this H plus such that the pH doesn't change that much? Yeah, okay, it must have been removed, correct. Guys, again, okay, that was important, huh? Right. Y'all must understand that when I throw in a H plus, it has to disappear. That's why the pH doesn't change. Agree? How does it disappear? Who gets rid of that H plus? Okay, a base, right? Who is the base? Okay, the acid is a concrete base. The H plus is removed by the base. If conversely, I want to throw in OH minus, who, whose job is it to remove this OH minus? Acid. The acid. Can you see that first? Okay, guys, so I need you all to come up with two equations for this big box over here, okay? Now, who again, H plus is CH3CO2 minus plus H plus. If it's OH minus, you have the CH3CO2 H plus OH minus. <laughs> okay, guys, we are here going to, okay, this is very important now. Huh? We're gonna now, I'm gonna tell you guys now when to use a full arrow and when to use a half arrow. It's very easy. Okay. You will use a full arrow only for neutralization. It will be a reversible arrow if it's not neutralization. Neutralization is just acid and base. Your job is to check is there an acid reacting in the base? 
So what is not neutralization? Like what we did earlier, hydrolysis. Hydrolysis is that acid or base? So uh, we have water, we add water, right? Okay, it's either hydrolysis or dissociation. These guys are not part of neutralization. So can I ask you guys, the first equation over here, what arrow do we use? Full or half? Uh, uh, Just let me full or half. Full uh, half. Full. Because this is a acid reacting with base. That's all you need to check for. CA3, CO2, A. How about the second equation? Same. Acid, base. Oh, okay. Okay. So guys, in other words, you can revisit the idea of a buffer. How does a buffer remove shit? Using neutralization. That's its fundamental way of operating. Huh? A buffer neutralizes the concept of neutralization to resist pH shift. Can you see that? Okay, those are just the equations. Come, let's come up with a very fast explanation. Right? Okay, remember this H plus or OH minus that you add, is it in small amounts or large amounts? Oh. Okay, for reason, huh? because it is small amounts. Look at the species inside the buffer. Is that large or small in comparison? Large. 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 Okay, guys. There's a lot of acid and conjugate base. And in comparison, you're just adding a few drops of H plus and OH minus. Okay, so imagine this. Huh? If I take a tablespoon of like lemon, I pour it into the ocean. Is the ocean going to become sour? <laughs> oh, okay. Why? Why? Why does it not become? Why does the ocean? Because it's so small compared to your ocean, right? So I want you to now imagine. Huh? The buffer is like an ocean. And uh, this is like a tablespoon of of whatever, la. okay, it's just a tablespoon of whatever you yeah, decide. Yeah. Whatever you do, uh, it's not going to change anything. Then that's how a buffer works. That's the reason why a buffer doesn't change pH all that much. You can see that? Yeah. Okay, so this is the phrasing. Uh. The small amounts of H plus or OH minus added will be completely removed. The word completely removed suggests that, okay, it's very, very small amounts. Completely removed by who? By the existing species in the buffer. Okay? Completely removed by the large excess. Okay, that's what, how we can express the idea of motion. Large excess of CHP-CO2- minus or CHP-CO2-A. Highlight like keywords. Small amounts, completely removed, large excess. So guys, if a lightly a conjugate acid and base can't just no, that's a part of the rule. Uh. Okay. You need to so that you can get rid of either H plus or H minus. Like you just say as it is. No, okay, you is a valid question. Uh. Why do you need yeah, both yeah, S? Right. It's so that you can get rid of both. Uh. If you only have one, uh, no, I mean, like, what if you have like, one acid and one? Yeah. Okay. Right, okay, 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 let's answer that question. Okay. First I'll write this out. Remains relatively constant. Okay, that's a very question. <laughs> How does a buffer actually operate? If I want to go into the details, come, let's take a look. Look at the Ka expression of this. Uh. Let me write it down first. <laughs> hey, guys, guys. Okay, it's good they all ask that question. Uh. Now let's really understand why you can't just put random acids and bases inside. Very good question. Come, take a look. Let's focus on this first equation here. If I add very small amounts of H plus, what will happen to my CH3 CO2H? Increase or decrease? What will happen to my this one? Increase. But is it by much? No, oh, not much. Okay, take a look. This one increase by decrease by a bit, increase by a bit. Yeah. Now the ratio here, does it change much? No. And other than that, uh, no matter how you change concentration, will KA change also? No, okay, so. increase and decrease are equal or not, right? Yeah, okay, because I think just keep plus, right? Okay, KA is a constant. Let me just put a tick there. If K is constant, this ratio also doesn't change much. Then H plus does it change much? No. If H plus doesn't change much, will pH change? Much also no because pH and H plus same same idea. Okay, let me let me repeat up. Uh. K is a constant. Now because this one increase and decrease, 
very minimally, the ratio also pretty much constant. So H plus also constant, lah. constant, constant, constant. So why can't it be a random acid or base? You see, uh, if it's a random acid base, would it be in the same KA expression? No one, right? That's why all this doesn't work. Wait, why are we, you see that? Wait, why, why we, they have to be a specific conjugate acid base pair so that this formula exists so that constant, constant, and constant. If it's a random acid base, they wouldn't even be in this K expression in the first place. Wait, the K expression is just is to express yeah. uh, is to express yeah, okay, I'll come back to that. Yeah. Okay, so but you Wait, just get this idea first. Huh? Okay, guys, it has to be a conjugate acid base pair. That's one of the first three. Yeah. 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 Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay, guys, come on. Let's quickly move on here. Okay, guys, let me look at page 33. We're going to do the exact same thing and write the exact same explanation. Okay, what's important here, are, guys? I need you to come up with the equation first. Okay, a buffer consisting of NH3 and NH4 plus, how does it resist when you add a small amount of base? Okay, guys, follow me up. Huh? When you add base, whose job is it to remove this NH4. base? Okay, yeah. NH4 plus, react with OH minus, come right down the equation. What arrow? Okay, because it's neutralization, right? Okay, what do you get? NH3 and water. Okay, goodbye. So guys, the small amounts of OH minus will be removed by the any four any four is in. Okay. So we're gonna find out the same exact explanation. Okay, uh, it's a two mark question. So the first mark, right, is the equation, which is very simple. The second mark is just this whole chunk. Okay. Now there are longer explanations, uh, like like for example the one I went through here, but it's too much for one mark. Okay, so this is all the submission that I've done. Okay, you can yeah. Yes. Yeah. Calculations. Okay, we can do a bit of calculations before we end up for today. We're pretty much almost done. Okay, I want to go over until page 36, basically. Okay. Not much, not much. We just need to tackle the questions. Okay, so guys, buffer, we have understood how it works. We've understood the explanation. Now we're going to perform calculations. Okay, so you will see the equation. Okay, look at page 34 first. Huh? All right. I need you to highlight the word suppress dissociation. It's in the first bullet point. Okay, what does that mean? Come, let's go to it. Guys, as I mentioned, right, buffer is only about neutralization. So, guys, anytime you do a buffer question, what is the arrow? Okay. Always full arrow. Huh? But write this down also. Buffer has no dissociation. So, you'll never use a reversible arrow for buffer. Why? Very simple answer. If I were to take, like, for example, CH3, CO2H, okay, I know this guy can dissociate by itself. Okay, hey guys, can see that? If you put CH3, CO2H, you just dissociate by itself to form all this. But do you notice, uh, guys, the buffer has reached two species. That's it. Okay, it has both of these guys, right? Now, are they a lot of them? Or very little? Okay, they are very, like, large, right, amounts. If the both left and right is very, very high, where is the position of the equilibrium? Does it lie in any side? No. That's why it doesn't proceed. Yeah. It's literally like in the middle. There's no dissociation. Okay? There's so much acid, so much conjugate base, that there is no dissociation, basically. Wait, how do you know that it's so much? It, yeah, because as we said, it has to be a lot compared to the small amount that we have inside. Okay, guys, it, since there's no dissociation, right, guys, 
our calculations are very easy. Okay, because it's just two arrow calculations. Okay, now it's good to memorize this Henderson equation. EH equals to PKA plus log. Okay, take note, uh, guys. Come look at what. This equation, best to memorize because you can just sub in values inside. Okay, so conjugate is always conjugate base over acid. Take note. Now, how do you memorize this? If it's Ka, the acid must be below. Okay, then the, the salt is just on top. If it's POH, then it's PKY. B. B. And then where's the base? Top or bottom? Oh, just the same as before, bottom as well. That means on top is the one. Okay, I unfortunately try to memorize this. Okay. Okay, can, 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 can. Right. We're going to use this for calculations. Okay, the first calculation is ultra simple, page 35. On page 35, right, I'm pretty sure you all can do it yourself because you just suck in values into the equation. Okay, go and try. Right? Sub we are already like ahead of uh, we already exceeding time. Uh. Yes, yes, correct. Right. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, Ah, pasal pasal tu fokus fokus. Guys, two more pages only ah. Okay, fokus. So must really uh, that's why I say must review that chapter first. Yeah. Uh, because it's this kind of problems on okay, but I warned you guys on uh, last lesson. Okay, so the she told you you need to have the first lesson, if not the second lesson, this kind of thing will hold you back. Bro. Same thing for the next lesson, right? It's the same exact thing, it's just gonna get harder. Oh, okay, so again, our next lesson onwards, if you don't know all these things, I'm just gonna move on. Uh, okay, I mean, it's not that I never teach, it's that you guys don't revise before the lesson. Yeah, I can't keep going, it's holding it, holding a class back because of this. Okay, can anyone, uh, anyone struggling with this? Okay, just sub in only, uh, right? Let's make sure you can get 4.74. Okay, let me write down the way to express this. Uh. So pH equals to pK plus log. What's the species on top? Uh, in this case, what is it? 0.01. Is CHPCO2 minus over CHPCO2 here? Okay, okay let's substitute it inside. We are interested in the pH of this solution, mm -hmm. correct? Now, find pKa. pKa is just negative log at value, correct? You plus log. Now, they already gave you the values, but guys, I want you all, I want to see this as uh, 0 0.01 over 1, 0 0.01 over 1. So, why? Now, you notice, uh, all these are in concentrations, right? But this value 0 0.01 is given as amount in the notes. So, you just need to, for formality's sake, just divide by 1 also. Oh, okay? Wait, if you don't like the calculator, you can get a 5. No, no, but if you don't hold it, like hold it, they might, they might. Just I'll just try to be safe. Again, I'm not very sure how strict it just are. Because like in the end, it just. Yeah, I know it cancels out, but I think just do. But then if the 
Okay, guys, we have one last page. Huh? Okay, let me go over how to do this question first. Okay. Okay, come. Y'all take a look at question 36. I just need y'all to follow the, the first. Okay, the first step huh, is to come up with an equation. Okay, so this is slightly more tricky because this is to find the change in pH of a buffer. Earlier just now, we just found the pH of a buffer. Can you all see the difference here? Now, just now, for this question, there was just two species in the buffer, just how big is pH? Is there anything extra added inside? No. But now, we're going to find the change in pH of the buffer. Meaning to say, uh, guys, there's going to be a buffer inside, and I'm going to add in additional stuff that will change this pH. Can be H plus, can be OH minus. So this will change the buffer by a lot or very little of the pH. A little bit only because this is a buffer, I'm supposed to resist it, right? So guys, first things first, uh, I again look at the steps here. I need you guys to come up with a neutralization because as I mentioned, buffer uses neutralization as its fundamental principle. It gets rid of the H plus and OH added with neutralization. After that, uh, guys, it's best to express your answer in an IC and F table. Okay, this will really help. Okay, last but not least, you can substitute into your Henderson equation, whichever that's more appropriate. Okay, so I want you guys to try this. Uh, I'm not gonna like uh, tell you guys what to do here first. Just take a look at these three three steps. Fill in the table. Okay, all I need you all to do come up with the equation. Fill in the table. Don't calculate the final answer, never mind. For this question, they gave you K, yeah. so don't need to this K. Wait, but hey, don't care and say your basic buffer. You're just I think the you K, just please use the K version. If the question give you KD, use KD. The reason is because, uh, okay, if you try to change the first into the second integer, it will still be the same one. Okay? You see the order is like opposite, right? That's why it will still end up as the same, uh, same combinations. Okay, guys, they added HCL, agree? So HCL is supposed to be gotten rid by who? Okay, so CA3CO2 minus removes the H plus. What's the arrow? Full, huh? Full arrow to form CA3CO2H and water, right? Hey, sorry, do I have HCO plus? Yeah, I know. Yeah, I thought that was HCO plus. Okay, so we have this first. Now, I see a table. Can someone tell me what the initial values? Okay, so they gave us 0 0.01 for both the acid and conjugate base pair, correct? Yeah. How about the H plus? Uh, is it just the 1.00 then the one? Yes. Then the Guys, correct? Okay, they tell you they added this amount of. Is it 0 0.001? Yeah. 0 0.001 of H plus. You must put that under the initial also. Yes, guys. Okay, I know some of y'all might be a bit confused. Huh? This is whatever that you're about to add into the buffer. It hasn't reacted yet. It's how much you're preparing to add inside. 
But after you add inside, what will happen? Change represents the actual reaction happening. Okay, can someone tell me what's the change? This is the limiting, so you minus this, you minus this, and then you plus on the right. Guys, in the first question, you had 0 0.01, 0 0.01. Is the pH going to be the same now, now that the ratios are slightly different? It's going to change also, right? You see that? Very slight. Yeah. Very, very slight, as you can see. Now, they gave us A, correct? Okay, so look at this equation. Huh? I want to find the mu pH. What's the pKa? Does it change? Okay, same thing, right? Okay, negative log 1.8 times n to the power minus 5, correct? Plus log. This is where some of you all may be a bit confused with the base acid idea. Okay, who is the conjugate base? Remember, if you use pKa, the bottom must be the acid. Who's the acid? CH3CO2H. Bottom is acid. So the top is just the other two. Now, guys, if you don't believe, uh, you go and try using the pOH formula, you will get the same answer. Okay, but don't, don't make life unnecessarily difficult. They give you Ka, right? Just use the Ka version. What's the new pH? Can someone calculate? 4.657. Okay, about 4.657, okay. The question is asking for the change in pH. Okay, so how do you find change in pH? Okay, always follow final minus initial. So what's the change in pH here? Okay, so there's a decrease in 0 0.08. Does this make sense? Because you're adding acid, right? Acid is supposed to reduce the pH just by a very, very small amount. Yes. You know that, uh, that square again? Concentration. Yes, guys. So this right here is concentration. Ah, so you notice, uh, guys. Okay, let's talk about this. You are subbing in the mole, right? Okay, good question. Huh? Do you notice that these are in moles? So if you were to sub it in here, what should you do? Did they tell you what's the volume? Yeah, okay, you could calculate the volume and all that, right? But at the end of the day, what will happen to the volumes? Okay. They will cancel out. So let's divide by 50. Okay, I forgot to mention this, yeah. Okay, your presentation wise, please follow this where you can just divide by B. You, you, you notice uh, they are all in the same freaking container, right? If they are the same container, the volume is going to be the same. Eventually, it's going to cancel out. Uh, okay, so just divide by B. Okay, that. Okay, we have gone through a lot today. Uh. So let me emphasize this one more time. Before the next lesson, you must redo whatever we did today. All the examples, go and redo it. If not, next lesson is going to be the same thing where you're just lost here and there. And you're going to struggle even more. Next lesson is going to be even harder. Like titration curves. Okay, so by next lesson, I really assume you guys have much better have a much better understanding of what we did today. So hydrolysis and buffer, two sectors. Okay, so yeah, that's all it for today. Okay, we're not done with buffer even. Uh, so next lesson is going to be also the same thing, very intense. The nature of this topic. Okay. If you have any questions you want to clarify, you can just stay back. I'll still be here. Right? Okay. Anything on? Just stay back and ask me. I'll still be here. Yeah, I mean, it's